Yo guys, it's a Mardi here, back again with a new video. Now, I just wanted to apologise for not uploading for a very long time. It actually turns out that taking 40 levels is pretty long. Who would have thought? Now, for all of the books and the websites that I mentioned, I will leave the links down below in the descriptions. Now, in this video, I'm going to go over how I got a grade 9 in maths and an A star in further maths. Now, the grade boundary for it. Now, I did edXL maths and the grade boundary for my year was 198. Now, the raw mark that I ended up getting was 280, which is about 72 point something marks per paper. Now, maths was one of the subjects which I truly enjoyed, so I didn't mind revising it. But if you are someone who is serious about getting the grade 9 or you just want to increase your grade by a lot, then follow these tips. Okay, so the first tip is to use your teachers. Now, this is something which is quite underrated because you feel like I can't approach my teacher or they'll think I'm dumb. It's actually not that. The thing is, if you ask some questions, it's okay because they're literally there to help you. That's like what they're paid to do. Now, if you're someone who's quite shy in lesson and you don't feel like your teacher is approachable, then you need to break that barrier. When it comes to GCSE maths, you can't get a grade 9 by being lucky. There's no such thing. Your teachers are there to help you get the best grade possible and the only way they can do that is if you tell them what you need help with. Now my next tip for you guys is do a ton of past papers. You have to be doing them like every single day. Now if you are one of those types of people who spend a lot of time in bed then I recommend using a website called Matsbot. Now Matsbot is basically an online website which is literally an online past paper. Now the special thing about it is that you can actually answer your questions online so all you need is literally a piece of paper and a pen. You don't need to print out anything. I did a few Matsbot papers when I was in bed or it just this helps me to stay on track and just answer those questions which I didn't really find easy. Another resource that I used is Maths Genie. But if you are someone who's done the past papers, then I recommend moving on to the individual worksheets, especially for the topics which you struggle with. Okay, now if you're someone who has just started year 11, then it's definitely worth getting this textbook, which is the NXO GCSE 9 to 1 blah blah blah. And the thing is, it quite helps. Now this textbook helps you quite a lot, especially as you go through the year because you can review what you've already done and you can also learn new topics as well so it does help for exam practice before you actually attempt past paper questions now if you are someone who's done as many past papers as possible you know your topics inside out and you gain like really high marks in the exams then it's worth using a website called OnMaths now OnMaths is basically for the people who are trying to guarantee the grade 9 so we're not even talking about getting 200 marks here, we're talking about 210, 220. Now on this website there is a type of paper called Demon Papers. Now these ones are going to be the hardest questions you can ever come across in GCSE Maths. So make sure you do it after you're confident with all of the content and you finish past papers. And again if you guys want more worksheets or topic based tests then it's worth checking out Corbett Maths as well. Now I'm just giving you guys a lot of websites to get papers from because at this point you guys should be doing as many questions as possible and just reinforcing your knowledge about what you already know. Now moving on to further maths and on how to get an A star. So for further maths I did AQA level 2 certificate. Now the thing about further maths is that it's still old spec so it's still from A star to U. And the good thing about that is that the grade boundaries are actually pretty low. Again it's sort of similar to how you should be revising normal maths. You should be doing a lot of practice papers and a lot of questions as well. Now for further maths I literally just used one textbook and this was enough to get me an A star. So I feel like this is the real deal. Now the same thing goes for the further maths textbook. Make sure you do the questions before you actually attempt past papers because both of them have worked examples and it can help you understand the topics if you do struggle with them. Now if you are someone who's attempted all of the past paper questions but you are stuck on the mark scheme and you're not sure how they got to the answer then I recommend a YouTube channel called Write Maths. He literally goes through the entire paper question by question while explaining it. Now when you are doing past paper questions make sure you do them regularly. So for example, if I had an exam for a subject other than maths, I would try to get at least four to five math papers done every single week just to make sure that my skills are up to scratch and I know what I'm doing. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. A lot of people have also asked me to make more videos on how I got nines in my other subjects. So if you would like to see that, then let's get 50 likes for this video and comment down below on what subjects you want me to do next. Guys, before I end this video, I just want to say that you guys are going for the highest grades possible. So it will be difficult. There's going to be questions you guys will struggle with. You're going to find some topics hard. But the important thing in this is to be persistent and keep on going these next few months are going to be very important so make sure that whatever you do you give it your all and you stay 100% focused take care guys